Today on Number Six with Chi is a Filipino American modernized restaurant, a sandwich that's gonna blow your mind. And we're also selling our Monday Drunk shirts for half off this week and this week only. Just go to number six with cheese.com and snag those up. Cha ching. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. All right, very excited. Two sandwiches in here from Kasama Acquired Jump Cut. All right, very excited. Say hi to yourselves. That's what we're seeing when we look at you. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, we got the little masking tape holding this bad boy down. Let's rip that open, pull this guy up, and see what we got. And boom, boom, boom. Whoa, I like this little Chicago style. Whoa. Paper they got there. Whoa, Whoa, okay. Looks like Jardinera right out of the gates. And then we open it up and let's see what we got here. This is a shaved pork adobo and then Longanesia sausage, probably butchered that, my apologies, and Jardinera up on the uh, the standard like Italian uh, roll, I guess, that we get. Yeah, I think it's pronounced Longanesa. I'm really trying to get better at my Filipino cuisine. That's like what I imagine like Italians when they're descri describing how long their their d*** is. How, yeah, how it's long? a long an asa. <laughs> it's a very long an asa. It is no short. Long an asa. See, most shows just tell you the facts and then brush on. Like they move yeah, on. Yeah, we like to analyze. You like to really get in the depths of like what the everyday man would think about a word. Exactly, we're blue collar. Yeah, you're so, well, yeah. I said to Corey before we ordered these, um, this is exciting because you and I have had an Italian combo together from our one of our favorites, Clark Street Dog. Clark Street dog. And that's a thing here in Chicago. Best is, thing at Clark Street Dog. Yes, the sausage and the Italian beef together, which is just a late night bar delicacy. Yeah, it is a delicacy. In the Windy City, the, the city of broad shoulders. I think it's the city of broads with shoulders. <laughs> we got in, some, cer in certain neighborhoods. We got some big beefy yeah, women. We yeah, got some I love big it. beefy ladies. Because they're here. eating these. Yeah, and you got to stay warm for the winter, so you need a little meat on your bones. Yeah, and from about like November to March, no one goes to the gym. You just yeah, eat right. and you wear sweatshirts. That's right. And you pack it in. And not just girls, guys too. That basically describing what I do for five months. <laughs> I don't let anyone see me. Follow us on Instagram. Please. Oh, Zaps are, oh, we've had these before. Yeah. Somebody sent us some Voodoo's. They're the coolest bag, but I feel like I didn't like them. I think people are very polarizingly one way or the other. I like them. Oh, okay. I think you can get shanked online if you don't like these. People are like really intense yeah. about these chips. Whoa. There's so much going on. Very flavorful. Here's that paper Corey was talking about. A little up close action. Looks cool. You know how like doggy style is a type of way you could have sex? Mm -hmm. What would like Chicago style sex be? Oh, we had we did it Chicago style. Probably where you have sex through a sewer grate or something. <laughs> or you dip your dong in Italian beef juice. Yeah. I lost all my jarred. Alright guys, this epic sandwich from Kasama. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. No, yeah, it's very good. Wow. A lot of flavors. Mm -hmm. Coming right out the gate. Mm. This meat's red. Wow. It's that long and ace sausage is really good. It's like it's sweeter than a traditional like Chicago sausage would be on this sandwich. Mmm. Wow. That top meat, tender. Oh, I like this a lot. Yeah, this is really good. Try the top meat. Mmm. <laughs> top meat. Super similar, in my opinion, to the Italian beef. I think it's tender. The it could be tender. I'm I'm thinking flavor-wise, mm -hmm. but the red meat, the longanisa is yeah. way different. I think. Apparently, Filipinos do sausage way better than we do. Mm -hmm. I think most cultures do food better than we do, but we just make it more for us. You know, people don't usually do sausage better than Americans. That's true. Oh, the Polish. Yeah, they named it. <laughs> yeah, this is excellent. This is way better than Italian beef, I'd say. Most Italian beefs I'm not huge on. Right. The vibe I'm getting is when you and I had the Prime and Provisions sandwich and how that was like a delicacy steak sandwich, whatever that was. This is kind of like like a fancier version of a, a grungy food. See, I know it's fancier. You told me about this place. Yeah. But to look at this and to eat it, I don't feel like I'm getting a fancier thing. Like, I don't feel like there's truffle on here. Mm. Aged something special, blah, blah, blah. It feels just like a blue 
blue collar. This could be a blue collar type of sausage, but it's, I know it's not. The construction to me is just so flawless. The bread holds together. They put just enough like juices on it to keep it together. And that sausage has just such a lingering flavor. Like that taste to me, it's like gonna be hard to go back to a regular combo. <coughs> Spicy. <laughs> Guys, this place has my favorite breakfast sandwich in Chicago. It has the longanesa sausage with like mm. egg and cheese on a roll. It's incredible. I filmed it in one of my vlogs before and kind of showed it. It's my favorite thing. So if you ever come here, get that, and I would say get this. Yeah, this is good. Jardinera really hits. Jardinera is Chicago's best kept secret. It is. I'm surprised this bread didn't fall apart. They bake it. Mm. They're making it so it like all works together in my mind. <laughs> Don't you think? They're being like, all right, we want to make sure we make a bread that can sustain this sandwich. I just assume if you bake bread, you bake bread. It is what it no, is. No, I think there's some integrity there. <laughs> yeah, probably. I think a lot of the Chicago like beef spots just get all their bread shipped in and prepackaged, is what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. As they should. Toronto is fire. Uh -huh. I'm going to put some voodoo chips on the sandwich. Yeah, that's a solid move. I'm going to put some voodoo chips in my mouth. That's also a solid move. Yep. This just tastes like an, a spicier Italian beef. Mm -hmm. With better flavors. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with it. It's this not thing. too far away from the Italian beef that's like a completely new item. No, not a completely new item. They just made it better. Longanesa for the whim. Also, guys, if you want some more food content, I've had an upload every single day of January on my personal channel. Hey, Sean Ely. So if you want to see me cook in the kitchen, some travel series stuff, some vlogs, go check it out. Super excited for all the people that came over and said hi on that channel. So come on by, say hi, watch the videos, watch all the stuff we do, support everything we do, and uh, we'll love you for it. You could at some point see a vlog of today. Yeah, probably already came out. Probably already no, came out. Definitely already came out. <laughs> definitely already came out. I may have uh, labeled some cans with your nickname. There you go. When these go into his fridge, I just don't want anyone to be confused about who they're for, so I figured I would write his name on each one. I gotta go film some food reviews. All right, time to rock. A little vlogging? Yeah, a little vlogging. Okay, I know you don't like being told what to do, but close your eyes. Okay. Okay, hold both your hands out and like with your palms the other All way. All right, here together. we go, baby. <laughs> Flip them over. Them to me. Flip them over. Oh, okay. And put them together. Okay. Okay, okay, cool. Bless me, Father Fryveson. <laughs> okay, open them and read. Corey Big D. <laughs> Wagner, baby! Yes. I went into this going, well, don't eat that whole thing because. You're gonna eat more later. I'm gonna finish it. Yeah, I ate the whole thing. I couldn't help myself. Mm. It was darn good. Out of five. Wait, before we do that, can we ask you guys to like this? Yeah, go for it. If you guys cool with liking this video, it helps a ton. If you're not subscribed, you probably should be. We're putting this type of content out all the time, uh, so please go like the video. If you guys wanna look for something to comment, comment what your favorite um, combination of, like, this is, Fusion, yeah. What is this? Filipino-American. Filipino-American. Do you guys have a favorite type of, Fusion like that? Mm -hmm. Do you have one? I think Asian fusion's my favorite. Yeah, I think so too. I like think, crisp. Like it's yeah. American wings with Asian flavor. It's like Korean chicken wings. Right? Yeah, like Korean, yeah. yeah, so that would be mine. Asian yeah, fusion. me too. Uh, yeah, comment here. That's a great one. All right, out of five, what's something really long? Justin? I think they dig the energy that I give them. That, there's a character from Harry Potter, Long Bottom. Uh, I'll fight you. How many Long Bottoms do you give the $14, the Italian? Oh, yeah, Justin Long. That's a good one too. Yeah. Maybe we'll do it every other thing. There you go. Out of five, what do you give it? Uh, $14, Kasama, basically the Italian combo sandwich. I thought it was really, really good. Great flavor. If you like Italian beefs, you're definitely, I feel like, gonna really enjoy this. I'm not a huge Italian beef guy. As a matter of fact, I haven't told you this, but I've kind of stopped getting the Italian combo even. Mm -hmm. I just, the sausage is usually a little too overpowering by the end of it for okay. me. It wasn't for this, so this was great. This was like, I would get this, I guess, if this was near me. I have to say, not the best sandwich I've had in the world. I got my hopes up a little bit. I heard it was one of the best sandwiches in the city, but it's very, very good. I'm gonna give it a 4.8, so a great score. I am an Italian beef guy. Uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but now I don't know how I'm gonna eat another one besides that. Like that, to me, ruined it. I apparently am obsessed with longanesa sausage. That completely changed the game. You nailed it on the head, something I was gonna say. It didn't become overbearing with the sausage. Yeah. When I get it at other places, I'm sick of the sausage by the end of it, I just eat the beef. Yep. This, I wanted the whole thing. I throated it. Five wow. out of five. Interesting way to describe it. Yeah. I don't, That's for our OnlyFans. I don't speak great. Uh, come on back. Speaking pervert. <laughs> Here's are always like slits. I throated it. Mm -hmm. You guys know I suck dick and eat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't say I mean, you're insinuating. <laughs> I eat pussy and suck whoa, dick. Whoa, dude. Slits and sausages. <laughs> this video was like oh, semi like okay for everyone until the very you end. You wanna let me finger my bone hole? 
<laughs> the amount, dude, the duck had the day off again and you brought him in on his off day. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for rocking with us. Goodbye. Dude, if I were you, I'd go get one of those 50% off Monday drunk shirts. Switching sausages! Ha 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 ha!